Hello, my name is Luis Marino and this is my video log number two. For my host experience, I took my partner Ellie Locatus to the MSU Salsa Club and then over to the cafeterias for a meal so we could talk over that meal. Um, as some background to how the MSU Salsa Club works, it's really beginner friendly. I've been, uh, had been there before and at the start of every session, they'll have about 30 minutes where they'll teach you some basic steps that are part of salsa dancing. And then they'll take about another half an hour where they'll do a little group dancing where they teach you the basics of how to group dance in salsa and do, and do a thing called rueda where you follow instructions and you do some basic steps and you switch partners with other people that are part of that rueda, which is like a circle. Um, so for beginners, it's really good because they have a chance to learn all the steps and then, then put them in motion in like a structured way. So they're not really all on their own. Um, because of that, I thought that, you know, she will learn how to dance and she will do really well and it, it'll be okay. And, you know, it was, it was really fun, but that's one of the first things that surprised me is um, my partner had a really hard time learning some of the really basic steps that, you know, were taught in depth and, you know, you had time to learn them. And, you know, she, it wasn't, it, it was a little bit of a struggle, but you know, it wasn't like she was having a hard time because it, it was a friendly environment and I think she enjoyed it. She seemed really happy when she finally got it. And you know, where I'm from, people, people know how to dance and they know how to take part in that kind of organized dance where you like are supposed to do certain moves a certain way. So it just surprised me how, you know, she seems so out of it in that kind of environment. Um, and well, later on when we were talking, uh, while we were eating, I learned that she grew up in a farm town, which I know it's a really common thing in the U.S., but at the same time, it still surprises me because as a foreign person, I have this idea of what living in America is, which is really related to a modern lifestyle with, you know, the, all this technology and access to a lot of things. But that idea completely goes against my own idea of what, you know, farm life is like. like so that's a contradiction in my head that, you know, it always takes me a second to wrap my head around whenever someone says, you know, they grew up in a farm or a farm town. And, you know, one of the... So, so as we kept talking, we got a little bit into things like religion and that. And, you know, one of the negative feelings, probably the strongest negative feeling I had during our interaction was when she told me that, um, you know, because she grew up in a farm town, her town was kind of small and everybody kind of went to church and in middle school, if someone didn't go to church, it was a huge deal and people would talk about it. And that just seems so retrograde to me. And, you know, I grew up in the city, so there was like a lot of people. People didn't really care about other people like that. No one would notice something like that. And even though my country is very religious, very Catholic, I wasn't really Catholic. So I thought the idea of having people, you know, maybe sneer at you because you didn't go to church last Sunday, that seemed so retrograde and crazy to me. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and um, 
Yeah, one of the positive feelings I had was, again, just when, you know, she managed to pull off a few of the dance moves and, you know, she was dancing as part of the group and having a good time because she felt like she kind of joined into, into it and she got into the same rhythm as everyone else in the Reda. And then when we did free dancing and she felt, you know, a lot more comfortable and... Yeah, that was my experience as a host.